Pastor Raymond. Do you think this is the case with the Anglophone situation? Um, look back a little bit at what um, some panelists and other Cameroonian people have been saying. Um, I ask myself, secession? Is this um, secession? We cannot talk about secession when the two peoples have never been together before. What we have right now is only a de facto arrangement. What in Pidgin we call come we stay, Jumba marriage. Like I said, there is no treaty of union between the Southern Cameroons and La Republique du Cameroon as United Nations Charter Article 102 and 103 so provides. So I think that point on secession is clear. The other issue about Ohada translation that I'd have, I'd have to be labor on is I don't think that the translation presented by the Minister of uh, Justice and Keeper of the Seals is enough. No, Cameroon cannot alone translate Ohada. It cannot be cited before any court of law. It is Ohada as a body that has to come out with translation of the text of Ohada. From what the teacher said, um, the, the teacher who called from Bamenda, uh, Tassan Wilfred, he has enumerated a good number of things that the teachers want see, seen done. And in human resource management, we call that industrial disputes. And industrial disputes, you know, touch only on particular professions. And that alone, that of the lawyers, that of the teachers alone, cannot be speaking on behalf of the entire Southern Cameroonian people. Because if what the teachers are asking for is provided, what the lawyers are asking for is provided. They call up the strike. It is not going to solve the Anglophone problem. Like I started with my expose, I said the Anglophone problem is not under development. It's not a problem of a uh, lesser number of ministers as Francophones have. The Anglophone problem is the problem of annexation, where on midnight breaking uh, 1st October 1961, Ahijo sent his troops over to the Southern Cameroons and colonized the people of that country. That is what the problem is. In 2003, the Southern Cameroons People's Organization, SCAPO, the Southern Cameroons National Council, SCNC, joined together and sued La Republique du Cameroon to court the African Commission on Human and People's Rights at Banjul. In 2009, the court came out with a ruling Communication 260-2003. And what was the ruling? It called on the President of the Republic, or the Republic of Cameroon, to enter into constructive dialogue with the people of the erstwhile British Southern Cameroons. As I speak to you, Emanuela, President Paul Bia continues in his stubborn refusal to do that. And that is why all what we are saying here and calling it an anglophone problem about development, blah, 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 that is, not the, that, that is not the real issue. Those are only thoughts that add to the injury, and the injury is the issue of annexation. Like I said, you, may, you might have misunderstood me when I talk of dialogue. Dialogue means that we go to the round table and discuss whether we want a federation or not, or independence. Now, if we discuss on the round table, and there is always a deadlock, then we have no other option than to pack us to go our separate ways. Remember, President Pobia has refused to adhere to a ruling from an international court, the African Commission on Human and People's Rights, a subsidiary organ of the United Nations. So I think, why don't we begin from there? If the teachers go to class, if the, the lawyers go back to the courts, it is not going to fundamentally solve the Anglophone problem. Like I always tell people, President Pobia has dragged this thing for far too long. You see people going to the streets. UB students going to the streets. The two Bs are going to the streets, Boya and Bamenda. 
The two cases I also went to the street, Kumbo and Kumba. This is because of, you know, things that have been accruing for a very long time. And it comes back to what I always say. You may train a man, but you'll never change their minds. You may enslave a people, but you'll never conquer their spirits. You may continue to hold a people in bondage, but sooner or later, their anger and frustrations become so great that force alone cannot contain them. Then guess what happens? The edifice cracks. The mortar crumbles. We are calling on President Paul Bia to heed to the call of the, Camer of the Southern Cameroonian people. Thank you very much, Mr. Raymond. So we're going to watch the press roundup. When we come back after the press roundup, each panelist will have a last word to talk about this anglophone problem because before we end the program, we have just about six minutes to be together. So this press roundup was done by Clarice Rudolph, and let's watch. I'll be right back after that. <laughs>